snow is finally starting to melt. We had like a bout of rain yesterday. Thank God for that. Hello everyone. I look exactly the same as the last video. I swear I'm not really wearing the same clothes all the time. I've just come to Eric's work to pick up the camera because normally he would bring it home on weekends and that for me. But with it being snowing last week, he was off work for a couple of days and it was left here. So I've just picked up the camera. He's also lending me his suitcase because I'm going on a girl's holiday at the end of the month for a hen do. And we just remembered that my suitcase broke the last time we went on holiday. So I'm borrowing his for now so we don't have to buy a new one. And now I need to drive all the way home, film a video, get some vlog photos taken and hopefully chill for the rest of the day after that. I really want to sort out what's on the back of my door now because I don't really need this much stuff out all the time. So oh, let's hope this doesn't take too long. Time to clean the fish tank. so nice to be home from college <laughs> I really hope I'm not getting a sore throat again because my voice is really croaky at the minute which is very irritating I got into my pajamas already and as soon as Eric gets here because I haven't seen him since Sunday morning I'm gonna start some tea can I just say how sick of waxing I am as soon as I finish this module at college I will never ever be waxed again I cannot deal with the pain I am so bad Hi everyone, it's Wednesday. I've just finished filming a video. I'm just about to edit it. Then I need to take Charlie to the vets. He's got another vet appointment with a different vet for a second opinion. Then I'm going for tea with Eric and we're going to the cinema to finally see The Shape of Water, which I've been wanting to see for weeks, but we just haven't had a chance. We've been to see other things or we've been doing other things. It's already been the Oscars, so I know it won Best Picture. So I've got pretty high hopes for it now that it's actually won an award, so I really hope that I like it. I feel like I will. I usually do like films like that. So I better get cracking on with my editing and try and get it up before I go to the vets with Charlie. Lay down, mum. They won't be able to hear the music. Are you joking? I didn't. I didn't pause. Oh, Charlie, you're Charlie, come get your teeth brushed. Come here. Daisy, come here. It's my brother's fifth birthday on Sunday. I can't believe how old he's getting already. I say old, it's just because, like, I don't know, when you see them as a teeny tiny little baby, it's so weird how quick they grow up. I've also got some Mother's Day stuff to wrap up and pack up. I've got some stuff for my nana. If any of you don't really know that I don't really see my mum and there is a reason for that that I'm not going to discuss on my channel. Oh, you're right there, Charlie. For the purpose of Mother's Day, my nana is my mother. She was there for me my whole life, so... I'm not feeling very well today and I think it's important to talk about these things just for like general awareness and being honest about like my day to day life um, not pretending that everything is all fine and dandy all the time my colitis is starting to flare again and I'm absolutely good. I've been on these new set of steroids since December and it really felt like they were working. But this past week, it's just really gone downhill. And without trying to be too much information, there's just so much blood 
every time I'm going to the bathroom again and it's really strange because my symptoms aren't the same as they usually are like I don't I don't have all the like diarrhea and stuff that I would usually get when I'm flaring badly there's just so much blood like an unreal amount of blood I wish I could kind of show people what I mean because it sounds like I'm exaggerating but I mean there is a lot of it and I feel like maybe I should call my consultant but I'm seeing them next week anyway so I don't really want to waste the time and I worry that there's other people that are worse than me who need my consultant's time um, and I feel like I can get on with my day to day life but it's just so hard when you're kind of sitting in this kind of like rut where you have bad health but it's also not bad enough to warrant like emergency care and things like that so like usually unless it's an emergency no one really cares but you're also not well enough to just kind of like push through anymore I don't know it's just really hard and I've just gutted that my medication isn't working as well anymore I don't know why I'm getting upset it just means that I'm gonna have to go on a stronger medication and I know that the next lot of medication are things like or things with stronger side effects it's things like Humira I think it's called which is an injection or I think the other one is like a transfusion and things like that and I'd really rather not go through all that kind of stuff I don't know maybe they'll just put me on stronger steroids to be honest I would rather stronger steroids but I've already been on them since August 2016 and they're not supposed to be a long-term solution so I have a feeling they're gonna take me off that and put me on something else now since they're not even working I'm just good I'm just really good about it picked up all my meds on the way home and this is how many I have to take. Yep. Hi everyone, it's Saturday and I haven't vlogged at all yet today. It is now, what, seven o'clock at night? And we basically haven't done anything today. We've been to Asda and got a few like party food bits for my brother's birthday tomorrow and we're gonna watch The Crown. Da, da, da. Woo! <laughs> what are you doing? Play. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Woo! Hi everyone, it's Sunday night now. This morning I was doing work experience so I couldn't film any of that because it was a wedding trial so there was a bride and the mother of the bride there and I couldn't get any kind of footage. This afternoon we have been at my mum's house. It was my brother's fifth birthday so we had like a little tea party with some cakes and like food and things like that and we had a birthday cake for him and he had a million balloons on the floor. I'll put a photo of him here where he's basically in, he put all the balloons inside his little tent, bless him. He had the best time of his life. And now we're just gonna chill for the night and I think we're watching The Crown. How many episodes have we got left? Two after this one. Two? Yeah. Is there another season? Nope. We've nearly finished the first two seasons of The Crown and actually it's alright, I think it's alright, I don't mind it. Mm -hmm. 